Greetings to uh, beer participants and aficionados, and congratulations on your 10th anniversary. This is Henry Small of SciTech Strategies. Philippe has asked me to make some remarks, uh, which I hope, will, I hope your meeting will be a success, and I'll also give you some ideas for the future. I think this group is at the cutting edge of combining information retrieval with, with scientometrics and infometrics and bibliometrics, whichever term you'd like. The work is central to our uh, science-driven world. And uh, just think about the impact of the new pandemic virus and climate change. Information issues are at the core of these uh, questions. And there's <clears throat> been a great need for reliable and authoritative information to counter the misinformation we're often hearing from our political leaders. I came to information science by a non-traditional route with degrees in history of science and chemistry. My background influences my selection of problems to, to work on. My first job was in a history of science archive where my assignment was to come up with a way of analyzing the structure of nuclear physics in the period of the 1930s. That work was where the idea of co-citation came from, although before I could implement it, I had to get a job with Gene Garfield's uh, Institute for Scientific Information, where I worked for nearly 40 years. Uh, with co-citation, I was seeking a method for mapping scientific concepts or ideas. In the 1970s, I realized that in order to make progress in interpreting the meaning of citations, it was necessary to look at the text surrounding the references and the so-called citation context. In those days, this was not easy because we didn't have access to uh, electronic uh, full text. Nowadays, the full text is truly, the amount of full text is truly amazing, and I think we're making progress in our ability to interpret interpret citation data and clusters based on citation linkage. The Beer Group could address other topics relevant to the history and philosophy of science, I think, by combining information retrieval, citation, and text analysis. One topic uh, is what, I, what it means to make a discovery in science, or more generally, to make an advance, a scientific advance. Another topic is how ideas are confirmed or corroborated, for example, how hypotheses are confirmed or disconfirmed by evidence. We could also tackle the detection of scientific revolutions, which are sudden shifts in the structure of a research area, and also, of course, uh, uh, emerging areas or fields. Case studies can be helpful in this regard. We're currently facing a major health challenge in the form of the COVID-19 virus, and hopefully information scientists and scientometricians will rise to the occasion with analyses of this topic. In short, we're faced with many research possibilities, especially if we take a broad view of what information retrieval and scientometrics can, scientometrics can do. Thanks very much, bye.